now it's uh, uh, this is in response to what you were saying um, about bringing it, making it like uh, entertaining. Where um, I think uh, we're all kind of hard for when it comes to activism or whatever, and a lot of people don't know how to get into this. And I think a lot of hard holding is important. Um, like my friend I rented uh, my apartment to. Um, she had a dumpster right by her apartment. She knew our dumpster dive. Uh, I was told her you never have to pay for food again. And it took me, you know, literally fucking dragging her down the street, <laughs> showing her what was in there, making it back before yeah. she got, oh shit, this is actually real. This is, you know. Yeah. Yeah. So I think it's important to you know, find a way that we, we all know how to do this shit, but a lot of people don't, and they don't, they're not going to go find it themselves. So. Yeah. Yeah, it wasn't to say that it's it's not that I mean it's entertaining. It's just that if you present it to, yeah. s to somebody who's not already in yeah, into the yeah, yeah, environment, I mean, yeah. then maybe they'll just oh a floating boat. That's yeah, yeah. 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 yeah that's what, <laughs> but yeah. that's what I mean. Yeah, I think it's important yeah, that, that we uh, really shove it in these people's face if they want anything to change because we actually know about it and a lot of people don't. They want to act on it. Can I say something with it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, we have uh, here. If it's short, you can say this. Yeah, I just wanted to say in relation to that, I think I halfway dumpster dove today when we went to the uh, food and farmer's market and got scraps of vegetables for um, an event, a food sharing event tomorrow night. Uh, and I was halfway, two blocks away from there when I, I realized what just happened. <laughs> it was a, a great, amazing experience to meet these people and just get stuff for free and walk away and just question. I mean, these are perfectly good. Yeah. Fish. Cool they could have sold them tomorrow, basically. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And they ended up giving us so much more than they actually intended to. Yeah. They just kept throwing stuff at us. <laughs> and that's an amazing thing, and it ties into your, I don't remember your name, your question earlier about what, what drives people yeah. and what inspires people. Uh, I personally have stumbled upon this path. I mean, I've always read theories and s social gatherings and classes and a lot of stuff, but it was abstract to me until I met Lisa, yeah. who did this project which then uh, drew a lot of different kinds of people to it and then the path kind of unfolds and also a part of it is figuring out how to organize along the way according to your specific uh, project, uh, context, uh, personality, interest and the people who come to you and want to help out. Yeah, I think that, yeah. Right there. Oh no, sorry, yeah, you weren't giving your work, you were just yeah. allowing us to speak. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, so I'm like super overexcited to hear all this last line of conversation, uh, going around of sharing information and uh, you know involving other people. And I'm a teacher, so I'm like super biased that education is a solution for everything. I'm sorry if, if that sounds biased, but because I don't believe in education, traditional education. I think education is like now, yeah, we educate each other. Like you meet the person, you communicate, it's education. You, you involve somebody's dumps and driving, it's education. So somehow to hear this, that people want to involve others and we think that's the best way to progress. I think this is the, the big step forward in activism that you don't just do because you enjoyed it. Or uh, or you do it for your own entertainment or for your own good or whatever, but you actually are interested to involve those least interested, the Nazis, you know, and, and everybody else, like take them by the hand and take them to a dumpster or a refugee center or asylum seeker. I'm sorry, uh, can you, I didn't quite get your point. You're, act, you're an activist when you go to people and try to convince them? No, no, I mean like... Not definition-wise, just to say... No, no, not definition, but I'm happy that there are most of the people who like, last speakers or last pe people who spoke, they all express the same idea that they want to share it, not just to do, to be an activist for, to be one, but to be an activist and share it at the same time, to involve more people. And I think this is like ultimate education in the world, and mm -hmm. that's exactly the right way to go. Uh, we don't really know how 
how to use the media, we don't really know how to read the news, uh, what to choose, uh, what to, how to get the information in the right way, in the way that you know that it's, it's transparent and uh, reliable. So I think one of, also one of the things, like you guys in the beginning, you talked about more to be done. One of the things that is really important in our society is to actually learn how to read news, how to use media in a right way. Uh, and that way we could kind of uh, reduce the amount of fake news and the amount of bullshit that, that is online <coughs> and kind of uh, to maybe to help a little bit for independent journalists to establish themselves as well because I think um, like independent journalism, the journalism which is like not uh, biased in any way is also a certain kind of activism which takes a lot of courage and a lot of time to establish and uh, people usually do that out of their own will and out of their own beliefs not really because you know so um, that's also like it's really important to educate ourselves how to use these things and media is not a tool for anyone neither for politicians nor for activists the media has to be um, transparent and it has to be able just to kind of spread the message but not be a tool for propaganda of any sort, good <laughs> or bad propaganda. So. No, there's uh, Adria. Mm. So my Don't point kind of ties into your teaching um, and your media. It's, uh, I have the impression that none of us sitting around this table um, don't, I mean, we all have the somehow the, the feeling that through our activities and just being, we're teaching someone something or learning something from someone because our projects inevitably bring people together, you know, so that's knowledge sharing, oh, that's, yeah, anyways. Um, so my experience is that teaching and learning is an ongoing stuff, um, ongoing thing. Um, and I wanted to say something more about that, but I forgot what it was because now I'm tied into this <laughs> media thing. Uh, and take notes. <laughs> what? Take notes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or just take a second, just gather your thoughts. It's okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm rushing out there. But now I lost everything, so. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. Fine. Then, you know? Well, maybe we can get back to you after I've talked. Yeah, if I oh. remember. Yeah. Um, I have to say I disagree with what you just said. Um, I. Um, come from a time when I got into activism when I was in like my early 20s when I was first at university and we would write press releases to like the like we were using the media at our whim and like we would know journalists we were sleeping with journalists like we were doing anything with journalists to get like a story out and um, I think that media ideally of course you know should be communicating something in a non-biased way but the reality is that it does become a mouthpiece for you know right-wing politicians corporate interests whatever um, and it is actually a tool that is being used by politicians and by activists. And I think you're absolutely right that we need to like learn how to use the media and read it and be able to you know differentiate this good from like the true from the non-true, um, you know what is truth. Um, but then um, I think the other day I read this article and it was like it was in the Onion, which is a satirical paper in the states, and it said like the headline was like millennials don't know how to differentiate news on Facebook like from fake news anymore like and it, I think it touches on a really key issue and that is like you're talking about media and I think that a lot of people nowadays and I, I have a feeling it's gonna happen even more get get their news by means of social media and the thing is like you know you have all these newspapers even who like have social media like tweets or like feeds where like they get out information by like you can follow them um, but it's also like this awesome tool because it can empower us. And like, you know, 10 years ago, in order to like organize an event or a, or a protest, you had to like call these people, talk to them, maybe even write them letters, like invite them with like, you know, a typewritten letter or something. And now you like make a Facebook event and you're like, oh, 600 people are coming, great, you know? And like it took you like 20 minutes to do it. So I, I would have to say I disagree with you that media is not a tool, and I also disagree with you that media is not biased. Oh, I'm sorry, I meant media 
apply journalism. Like, I agree that social networks can be a great tool to spread your own message, but I meant uh, by media, I meant more on the journalistic side. Like, journalism shouldn't be a tool to um, spread either activist or either political message. Still like, disagree with that. Let's say propaganda. It, it's a strong word, but. Yeah. I don't know. Someone else spoke here, so. <laughs> but I would like to talk about media. Would you like to join us? Uh, I just don't want maybe people that want to smoke. Uh, yeah, just, take the smoke out. Secret somewhere to join yeah. us for me. I have a small smoke. Hey, but the uh, thing is directly related to you. Me? No, no, the guy that's walking Christian. Out. Christian. Because you talked about media like a few conversations ago. I'll, if you want to smoke, I can I'm wait. listening. No, no, yeah. we can wait. Yeah, yeah. I think media is... I guess it's for everybody. Too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's kind of like in response to your thing. Yeah, about media. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think like media is probably the most important thing. I'm just curious who here like mostly get your news from like the mainstream media and you know what I mean like they should do CNN, <laughs> New York Times, New York, what up, uh, like yeah. DR1 oh. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> who here just like mainly get your stuff on that? It's a, it's a, it's a mix yeah. <laughs> and also you have to understand that um, like state news in Europe like DR, um, Danish Radio or in Germany we have the f first German channel or its sides are different than, inherently different than like the um, interest controlled New York Times or Los Angeles Times. I understand. So, uh, I still say these are mainstream. I'm just like, I'm just saying, like, I don't like label thing, but like, mainstream is like media that's on TV or promoted by YouTube or whatever on the front page. And who here like listen to like alternative media? Well, also, it's a combination. You okay. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. Cool. Then, yeah, I'm just trying to... Yeah, don't you don't yeah. think we should keep track on the mainstream media and the narrative being presented there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just trying to get an idea, like, when people are saying media, are we referring to... There is, like, a, a big divide between, let's just call it corporate media, or in, Den in Denmark it is state-sponsored media, which up to, like, last year, Denmark has rated number three as the most transparent journalism in the world. However, you probably should know it has changed last year <laughs> when they uh, don't allow people to get class, journalists to get classified documents anymore. So what I'm talking about mainstream is that things control from a top-down kind of fashion media versus independent media, which some guy sitting in his garage publishing a podcast. So, okay, my take on this is I'm totally down for alternative media. <laughs> <laughs> However, I want to distinguish like two types of alternative medias. Um, and one is people who are actually doing research, which I would call the authentic al alternative media. And then there's a type of alternative media that's just trying to derail the conversation, make the alternative media seem not so credible. And there's a lot of shit out there. I mean, in comparison, like most alternative media, pretty much shit. Even worse than corporate media. So that's what gives the bad name. So I just want to kind of like bring this distinction on the table. You guys can use it if you want. It's just like there's corporate media, there's good alternative media, and there's a lot of shit alternative media. Okay, so now we have a, a critique of uh, media. And uh, before the subject was driven up by the introduction of this new theme, we were uh, discussing other things. Uh, feel free to add some things about media. Go back to what we were discussing about uh, activism and autonomy. Or maybe we can start thinking about uh, letting go. I see that there's a lot of movement, people coming in, people coming out. We're probably getting cold too. So maybe to wrap up uh, a way of, uh, of heading towards a conclusion could be to try to see 
we've uh, talked a lot individually about activism, about autonomy, how can we understand our action, but how can we build uh, movements, how can we translate this into uh, bigger, um, uh, bigger, but not just in quantity, like say in quality, how can we improve the quality of our collectives, how can we uh, reach out to more people, and maybe also as a conclusion, it could be interesting maybe to think of all the different contexts that we talked about, because there is obviously huge differences. Uh, going back to how you, uh, what you said at the beginning, um, or at least that's how I understood it, that uh, here the welfare state is really strong. Mm -hmm. So basically any kind of initiative is going to be, any kind of dissidence, let's call it, is just going to be throwing money at it. And in the south, you will find that <coughs> it's basically the opposite. You'll get a stick in your head. And, uh, yeah. So that's just a suggestion. Maybe that's just a